let's get started with struts 2 we will understand struts 2 with an example in which the user will enter a name and click on the submit button on which he will be weaving a page which contains a hello message followed by the name which we entered in the first page. Let's implement the same. We have created a dynamic web project and named the same as getting started. Within the lib folder of this project, we have copied all the binaries provided by structs to distribution. Then second step involves making the web application make use of the struts 2 framework. To do the same, we register a filter within the web.xml. We have the filter tag and the filter mapping tag. In the filter mapping, we map all the URLs to a filter named struts2. And within the filter tag, we map the struts2 filter name to the filter dispatcher provided to us by struts2 framework. By including these two values, we are indicating to the web application to make use of struts2 filter dispatcher. Shown is the index.html page, which is the first page which the user will see on starting the application. In this, we have the form tag with the action attribute pointing to hello slash hello action. We have an input text field in which user, user can enter some name. And we have given the name of this input field as MSG. We have a submit button so that user can submit the request. After entering the details and clicking on submit button, the user will be directed to hello slash hello action. The action is configured within the struts2.xml. The struts2.xml is a configuration file for configuring various actions. Within this, we have the struts tag. We have a constant attribute named dev mode, which we have set to true. This attribute is used to indicate whether we are working in development environment or production environment. If the value of dev mode is true, it indicates the environment is development. Just like packages in Java, we can group various collections within a common package in search.xml. We have created a package. We have given a namespace slash hello and we made the package extend the default structs. We have created an action name hello action, map it to a class com.qspawn.action.hello action and the method to be invoked for this action is execute. Let's see what we have written in the action. Shown is the hello action and as we see action in struts2 need not extend any other class. Now within the hello action, we have a string msg, which was given to us or filled by the user within index.html. We have setters and getters for the same. Within the get message, we append the hello string to the message. We have a public string execute method and within this execute method, we are returning action.success. Within the structs.xml, under the action, if the result is success, then we direct to allo.jsp. That is, if the allo action returns a success, then allo.jsp will be displayed to the user. Within the allo.jsp page, we make use of structs track library and display the message which we have set within our action by using as property. Thus, the logical flow of the application is as follows. The user will fill the details within index.html and click on submit button. 
in which hello action will be invoked. This will lead to web.xml which will which is making use of filter dispatcher filter. Now this filter dispatcher filter will make use of structs.xml in which we have configured the action with the corresponding class to be invoked for the action. The corresponding class hello action will be invoked and the execute method will be executed to give the result of execution. In this case we get the result of execution as success. Hence within the action we configure the result name as success on which the user will be shown hello.jsp page in which we display the message which we sent within the hello action. Now let's deploy this application and execute the same to find the required results. To deploy this application, we right click on the application and click on the export option. And we export the application as a war file. Within this, we enter the name of the war file as well as the destination address where we want the war file to be created. I have checked both the options. And finally, after filling all these details, we will click on the finish button. After deploying this application and starting Tomcat and putting the following URL in the browser, we get the index.html page which has a input text field as well as the submit button. I enter the name as Rama and click on submit button on which the hello slash hello action is invoked and finally I get the message which was set within the hello action as Rama which is the input entered by the user appended with hello and the same is displayed by using hello.jsp page. Thus we have seen how to get started with a web application using Struts2. Next let's see how to make use of control tracks provided to us by Struts2.